How do you do? I'm Graham Murphy, a category manager here at Tech Reynolds. Today we're just going to have a quick look at the Anritsu Site Master. This, this is the Anritsu S331E. Okay, in the kit we have accessory list, Site Master itself, cable, there's a few accessories down there such as the um, software, etc., uh, and a car charger, power charger, and here's our little calibration kit plus the manuals. Alright, to use the gear we've got our, uh, we have to connect our impedance matched end type cable up, so we need to take these couple of little black covers off here. Now, uh, when you get the unit, um, what you're testing, you'll need to get an adapter to connect to these um, end type connectors. So now we've got that connected up, we can start thinking about doing our testing. Right, well, in order to uh, demonstrate this thing, I'm just going to run a quick test on this. Um, it's a 476 megahertz antenna, basic antenna. You'll be doing something much bigger than this, of course. Now, I've had to tap this BNC, of course, up to the end type. Okay, turn the unit on. Press the green button here, and we've got to wait for it to boot up. So, the instrument's booting up. Now, in order to test this um, particular antenna, I'll need to set a test range. Now, at the moment, um, what I'll do is I'll set it a little, the frequency a little less than that. So I'm going to press, um, hang on a sec, set the frequency to this one here. So I hit the frequency button to 470, um, sort of 465, 465 megahertz. And the upper frequency I'm going to set to 485 megahertz. Right, now whether you can see that, it's a little hard to see on this screen. So, now it's complaining because it's not calibrated. Now we have to start the cal. Now we need to use this little item here. It's pretty simple. First start, start the cal, preparing for cal. And uh, I'll just take the little covers off this. Now we need to connect the open to our end type here. So I'll just screw that on there. Press enter. It's measuring open. All right, it's happy with that. Now it's got to measure the short. Press enter. Right, and the, come down here, now we've got to put the load. So I'll put that one on. Press enter. Right, it's now been calibrated to 465 to 485. So it starts at 465, runs through to 485. Now our um, particular antenna is supposed to work at 476. So I'm going to now connect the antenna and we'll start looking at what we can do. Okay, first I've got to make sure, now I've got the buttons across the bottom here, there's a frequency now amplitude, I'll just make sure that is set to auto scale. All right, there's our current V square. Now this is the sweep setup. We can set it to run and continuous, which I've got it on. And there's a few other settings there. Now the measurements we make, now in this case, if I click on here, it's making V square measurements. Now I'll put this sitting on a table. It's very poor. Um, situation for an antenna and it's getting a, now if we hit our marker on, it's set to 4, it's a bit hard to see, but it's set to 476 there and it's getting 2, 2 dB, um, the v, VSWR is that, return loss is uh, 9.3 dB. Now we can come over here and look at the Smith chart and you can see there's our 50 ohm line so that's balanced doesn't look that good 
But we will now, I'll now attach this antenna. Now you can see as it moves around, it changes dramatically because we don't have this antenna on a MERV plane. Now I'm gonna put it on a, we've got a magnetic board in here, which will operate effectively as an earth plane. And I will just connect it to that. And we just leave it for a second. And you can see now that that antenna is working a lot better. Proof that the earth plane works. Okay, if you want to uh, also now, if you want to save a measurement, it's pretty simple. You just hit shift file and then we get a list of options down the side here and we can save the measurement and recall them, etc. You're able to pull them off with a, uh, I think it's, yeah, you plug a memory stick in. So it's very simple to save measurements. It's a great little piece of gear. The Enritsu S331E Sightmaster available from Tech Rentals. Thank you very much.